Good morning, good morning, good morning. Morning, Jamie. Morning, Faisal. How are we today? Oh, right. So I just have to adjust the cushion in my chair. Right. Let's get on a bit more with the puddy tat. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I had a good day. Good day yesterday. Good laugh with my brother. We should meet up more than we do, to be honest. I mean, he only lives like 20 minutes away from me, but he's so busy with work that we don't always get to see each other as often as we'd like, but he's one of those people that Every time I meet him, I just always feel sort of like revived and happy after, <laughs> if that makes any sense. He's just, yeah, he's just a naturally like really funny guy. And um, I used to find him really irritating when I was a, a, a little girl because obviously he was nine years older than me and he always just seemed so much cleverer than me. And he's one of those guys that he always knows the right comeback to say in the right moment. You know how sometimes you can have an argument with someone or you're having a discussion with someone and then three or four hours later you're lying in bed and you're thinking oh I should have said that but David says that instantly he knows what to say as always has the perfect comeback he always knows how to argue his point but he does it in such a funny calm relaxed chilled way you don't realize that he's getting his own way <laughs> but yeah anyway we had a fun time. Morning, Artsman. How are you? Morning, Haley. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you. Yeah, doing well. I think I had a, a quick peek at your channel, Artsman, uh, the other day. I was just sort of I had a quick five minutes to spare and I was just sort of going through um, various channels and I thought, oh, I'll just have a look at, at yours. And so I looked, I only managed to catch like five minutes of it. You were doing a pencil drawing. I'll try and catch a longer stream at some point. So yeah, so I had a good afternoon yesterday and um, we laughed a lot and he was here for about two hours and we just had a really funny afternoon. He brought a massive cake, massive cream cake with him, <laughs> which I couldn't have because it wasn't gluten free, but everyone else was really happy with the cream cake. So we got to talk a lot about um, the family history and stuff that we've been uh, we were discussing a bit yesterday, and you know the sort of stuff that Nick's been finding on ancestry. So that was uh, intriguing. Uh, I just want a little bit of ivory here as well. Let me just take some of this pencil marking out. Um, 
did I hear about the James Pizzagate? Um, yes, I heard about it this morning. Yes, that was not a wise thing to do. <laughs> that was not a good thing for him to take Becca's pizza. So I understand the rage. I mean, I'm surprised he took it, quite frankly. But he does that, he gets the nibblies and things disappear. Yeah, um, <laughs> right, okay, so myself and Becca, my daughter, are uh, celiac, so we have to have gluten-free food, and Becca likes to keep in the freezer this uh, Goodfellas pizza, um, I think it's a pepperoni one, that is gluten-free, and she just likes to keep one in the freezer, so if she ever feels like a late-night snack, she can just have this pizza and James my eldest son who is not celiac obviously went hunting for food last night this is what I understand I mean I've only ever heard this story secondhand through Nick to be honest my husband but um, apparently he went down into the kitchen couldn't find any snacks that he wanted so went rummaging around and took Becca's pizza and didn't ask if he could have it he just took it cooked it ate it and then left a note saying oh I think he left a note saying I took your pizza so <laughs> she's she's not happy so that is that is the Pizzagate scandal which I will no doubt hear all about today when Becca gets out of bed and I see her and she'll tell me about it. I mean, I remember what I was like when I first um, discovered I was celiac. And so you can't risk cross-contamination. So I would have my own cupboard in the kitchen so that, you know, foods didn't get contaminated with, with stuff that had gluten in. And when the kids were little, because I found out I was celiac back in 2005, and so the kids were, God, how long was 2005? 18 years ago, so the kids were a lot smaller. And they would just go in my cupboard and take my, take my sweeties or take my chocolate. And it used to wind me up because I'd be like, you guys can eat anything you like. I can't eat anything I like. And you just come along and you take my stuff. You need to ask permission to take mummy's stuff. <laughs> it used to really wind me up. But, um, so yeah, so I know how Becca feels. Uh, allergies suck. You've got family members who have not allergies. Yeah, allergies are really bad. I mean, allergies can be really, like, dangerous, can't they? Gluten um, intolerance isn't an allergy, and celiac disease isn't actually an allergy. It's an autoimmune condition. Um, but yeah, they're both just as, you know, a true allergy is just as bad as a autoimmune. Um, so you were saying Becca was once the, no, actually, no, Becca was never, she never used to steal my stuff because she was never really a big sort of like loads of sweeties person sort of thing. So no, Becca wasn't, the th it was usually the boys. Um... 
James is old enough to make himself his own pizza. Yeah, James is old enough to do a lot of things, Natalie, but um, he will always take the shortcut. like we have shops like a little village close to our house it's within walking distance I say if you walked to um, the village high street I'm just trying to try not to give the place away if you walk to the village high street from our house it would probably take you um, let me think how long to walk there five minutes it's not far it's not far but if James decides he wants something from the shop and it's say the middle of the day and everyone's up and everyone's awake, he will ask someone to drive him there because he would just rather have the shortcut. <laughs> so, um, not me wanting to clip that and show Jay. <laughs> he knows I mean it in good spirits. But it's not just James, to be fair. Jack is the same. Jack will be like, can you drive me down to the shops? So Jack does the exact same thing. Um... It's not that bad. Hey, never mind. Oh, hang on. I mean, I got that jaw. I got that joke. Oh, it's been, don't worry. Bad joke. I've heard. All oh, right. Okay. So I'm just trying to <laughs> keep up with all those little comments. Though to be fair. Though to be fair. Jack wanted taking down to the shops yesterday because he didn't want to walk and I wasn't doing anything so I said okay we'll drive and so I sort of drove down there and there was a few things we needed to pick up because Nick wasn't very well yesterday and so he wanted a few things and I needed to pick up some uh, gluten free bread for Becca and I knew it was going to be a heavy shop, so I, I did take the car. And I took Jack, and he paid for everything, so... Sometimes it's a bonus to take your child down to the shop in the car, because then they'll pay for it. <laughs> oh, Jamie! The Pizzagate saga as a movie poster. Oh my god. Jeez, it's a movie poster. Right, okay. Let me get my other drawing pad out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. So. Right, so this can be the poster here then. So we'll have... Um, Okay, this writing is a bit bigger than I was expecting. Okay. Pizzagate. <laughs> um. <laughs> Looks like a cookie, but 
There we go. Let's just pretend it's a. Pizza. <laughs> Tasty. Gluten free. Um, and then a big cross through it. I'm not drawing people. Red cross. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. James stealing James stealing Becca's pizza. Do I have to do two? You're on the same wavelength, so I'm just sort of like <coughs> Natalie, choose something else because you've used your points and I, I don't want to do two pizza things. So choose something else and I'll draw something else. Here we go. Content warning. Strong language. A stag. Oh, crikey. Okay. Um, a stag. A stag. Okay. A stag. Um, quite a thin narrow face but I'm just trying to think how to do the face um, let's give him a little dark nose let's give him a smile there we go got quite a powerful full body Little hooves. They have hooves, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've got big hind quarters. What sort of tail do they have? Is it like a little bit of a bushy tail? I can't remember. Just trying to think. Um, and let's just do the other leg there, just so it doesn't look like I've got a three-legged stag. There you go. <laughs> Please put starring James and Becca. Oh, okay. Hang on. Um...
starring James Becca a pizza there you go by itself. Pizzagate, rated 18, content warning, strong language, starring James, Becca, a pizza. A note. <laughs> um, who is getting married? What do you mean, who is getting married? Oh, a stag's your favourite animal. Oh, right, OK. I'll have to have a look for a good stag picture one day, then. Uh, you did a paper mural once with a tiny stag in it. If I can find it on my phone, I'll post it on the Discord. Oh, cool. Yeah, excellent. Please do. Um. Oh, and Faisal, me, Jamie and Natalie. Haven't I already drawn you guys? <laughs> Oh, gosh. Right. Okay. So, draw you all together. You know I hate drawing people. Why do you keep doing this to me? Right, so, Jamie in his, in his baseball hat, as always. Um... Jamie, hair, could be in like, um, everyone's going to be in, Anxiety Gang Anxiety Gang merch Anxiety Gang And here gonna have Faisal. He can be in his nice long robes with you're gonna have a high vis vest on over your robes. Feet, and you've got your little thing on. Oh, no, security hat. Let's have your hard hat on. Beard. Hands. Let's have anxiety gang robes because <laughs> he hasn't designed those, has he? But there we go, anxiety gang. And then Natalie, who had lovely long brown hair, if I remember correctly. This almost looks a little bit like the Rachel cut out of Friends, but there we go. Long hair. And... Uh, 
she's going to have on a hoodie as well. Everyone's sort of like putting their hands around Faisal, who's going to stand in the middle. Gang. There we go. So Jamie, Faisal, Natalie. There you go. <laughs> you got an Adidas sponsor? No, 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 no. Oh, curly hair. Right, I'll change that. You look like the bad guy from a Roald Dahl book. The thing I'm wearing is is called. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Thorb, Thaub. It's our traditional dress. How do I pronounce that? Thaub, Thaub, Taub. Curly hair, curly hair. Um, hang on, let's put some colour in. You said brown, didn't you? So brown, curly hair for Nat. Um, we'll give Jamie a red hat because I know he's got a red hat. Um, who wants the blush pink ho uh, hoodie and who wants uh, a black hoodie? Um, got them stuck up with me on Discord, Nick. Okay, I'll have a look at the Discord in a minute. Pink hoodie, black for you. Well, I've kind of put you in your robes, and your robes are white, aren't they? So, hang on, let me do. Um, let me give you. This is your high vis vest that you've got on over the top. And yet, hive is thing. Uh, blush pink. go um i don't know why jamie is profile just because he's looking at his good friend faisal <laughs> so there we go it's like sharing the love because you're all really good friends no these are not my kids these are the these are just uh the chat <laughs> But they're like a, a bunch of kids sometimes. <laughs> right, let me go and have a look at this thing over in Discord. Hang on one sec. Uh, gallery. Oh, wow. Oh, I see what you mean about the whole collage thing. That's really good. I like that. That looks quite a sizable piece as well, because look at the door next to it. That must have taken ages. Wow, that's amazing. I like that. 
<laughs> right. I will post this in the Discord for you guys later. Right. Now I've completely forgotten where I was and what I was doing. Right. I think I was doing this, wasn't I? To get James to draw all three of you next. Um, I'm doing <laughs> typing. Yeah, typing has gone out the window this morning. My typing was atrocious. I sent an email to someone this morning. Um, technically, you did say you would adopt me and I'm holding you to that. Absolutely, yes. So, yeah, Jamie is going to be my adopted child. Yeah. Um, because, well, basically because obviously his name fits in with the rest of the family theme, apart from, apart from Becca. But the boys theme. There we go. Um, what was in that coffee? <laughs> it needs to be the thing with me. Right, I need some darker, darker chocolate. I think Becca's, I, I think Becca did a series of um, little small paint like little miniatures like two inch by two inch um, paintings in which she did silhouettes of various animals I'm sure I mean I might be wrong but I'm sure there's one of a stag I have to get her to show it I've got a lovely painting of hers up on the wall which is um, it's quite a large piece that's a silhouette of a crow sitting on a tree branch and the full moon is behind it and that's a lovely piece and we've got that up in our dining room. Um, doodle a silly face. Silly face. A silly face. Um, mm, a silly face. <laughs> what, like a Picasso type face or just a, a weird face? <laughs> Your name is Jizel. Yeah, okay, I'll adopt you too, Faisal. That's that's fine. I'll, I'll just draw everybody. Just a weird silly face. Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, let's just do a.
Here we go. <laughs> Weird city fights. <laughs> there we go. Hey, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Looks like the cat. <gasps> Jamie! Right, I'm going to put a halt on those adoption papers. Just gonna adopt Faisal now. I'm gonna have to be like that woman who lived in a shoe. Had so many children, she didn't know what to do. <laughs> it's fine. I know it's all meant in fun. Um. I'm really losing my train of thought now. <laughs> you guys have stopped me from concentrating com utterly and completely. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit down here, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you've broken me. I have to send in a malfunction report. You're the engineer, Faisal. How do you how do you fix a broken artist? I'm not going to do this line here too um, in depth at the moment because I want to get the ear in first behind it and then bring the fur from these pieces over the top but I just want to get a general idea of where it's going to sit. Um, chopping off your ear is the most popular method. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to chop off my ear, but thank you for the suggestion. I think I will, um, I'll refrain from doing that. Right, there are just a few pencil marks here going into that ear, which I need to get rid of. <sighs> You're in IT, so turn it off and on again. 
Right, okay. I'll I'll reboot later. I'll reboot later. I, I feel like I'm 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 a, a bit more back in the room. Just need a little, 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 little bit of this. Right, that's a little bit, little bit better. Um, that's a loaded question, gives me don't go there vibes. <laughs> Might draw for a bit, catch you later. Yeah, okay, Artsman, you have a, a good time, I'll see you uh, another day. Take care. Right, so, so, I'm thinking I might, do I do around this eye first and then do the centre bit? I think I might, actually. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you heard Rosie. Oh, you should have heard her yesterday, chat. Oh my god. Because she was a, a pandemic puppy, so we literally got her right before the first lockdown hit. So she wasn't... You didn't have visitors, right? You didn't have anyone come to your house. So she wasn't used to people coming in the house so when we now have visitors like my brother David who turn up she won't stop barking and she would bark for the whole two hours that he's there she just doesn't like people in the house she just doesn't know what to do with them so we could hear, so that we could hear each other speak. We left Rosie in the in the living room, and we had to go and sit in the dining room with the kitchen door closed, so that we could actually hear each other <laughs> hear each other speak, because Rosie was just in the other room barking non-stop because she knew he was in the house and she couldn't see him, and that freaked her out even more. It seemed. Oh my gosh. Most dogs would shut up after five minutes or so. They'd be like, oh, okay, this person's staying, all right, I better sort of chill out a bit, but not Rosie. Her paranoia and anxiety knows no bounds, so she really sort of fits in. I mean, technically, to her, she's doing her job, right? She's doing her job. She's protecting us from intruders. And all that jazz. But geez, give it a rest.
Actually, let me put some ivory down. Uh, what's everyone's plans for today? Hmm. What are my plans for today? Um, well, I've finished my revisions on my writing, so I've been working on those each day. So I hope that when I've done this, I'm going to send in uh, the revised manuscript to my editor, and hopefully that will get signed off and then I'll get paid for it that would be quite nice um, I've got to walk Rosie I've got to do a supermarket shop boring run-of-the-mill stuff today I think I've got to clean the bathroom Uh, you're still in bed. <laughs> got to shower and then relax till tomorrow. So you've got a full-on day then, Natalie. I think it's just run of the mill stuff in the middle of the week, isn't it? Nothing exciting happening. Jack's gone back to college today. Uh, you're sorting stuff since you're going to the UK for a week from the 13th with my family. Oh, cool! So you'll be over here! Are you allowed to say which part of the UK, Faisal, or do you not want to say? Um, you made the bad decision to work six to seven days a week during October. Oh my God, Natalie. Mind you, it will give you a little bit of extra moolah for Christmas, won't it? If you're working extra. Uh, Jamie's off to Essex. We're all going to stalk Faisal. <laughs> well, just so you know, uh, Faisal, if you're coming here from the 13th of October for a week, the weather ain't going to probably be very good. All that lovely warm weather you've heard us moaning about during the summer, that's that's kind of gone now. So please don't expect good things. It'll probably be rainy and grey. 
our default setting. And then if you get anything more than that, it's a bonus, isn't it? Um, London mostly, since your dad's got meetings there. All right, okay. I enjoy London. Take lots of photos so we can see what you're getting up to. <laughs> yeah, cancel everything. Don't bring your bikini. Um, dog, 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 dog. <laughs> Bikini for sale. And your flip flops. I might need to darken that black a little bit more. I'll see, I'll do, I might do that later. Um, <laughs> it's used just once. <laughs>
that's a little bit better. Got that darkness there. This trip is the definition of last minute trip. I'm happy I have a 10 year visa since I only found out two days ago. All oh, right, okay. How long's the flight from where you are to London? Is it something like, I don't know, 12 hours, something like that? Do you mind flying? I mean, I'm not a great flyer, but... Uh, six or eight. Okay. used to traveling because of your work yeah there are some good shows on in London at the moment if you get the chance you ought to sort of try and take in um, a theatre show or something fully recommend Soho <laughs> if you want to go and have a look around there. You don't know if you're going to go to a show because you're not travelling with your friends this time. Alright, okay. Well, I mean, if you do get the spare time, or your dad gets the spare time, maybe you could go with your dad or something.
Your little sister gets bored easily. Oh, okay. How old is your is your sister? Eight. Oh, well, I understand that then. Though there is um, Matilda, the musical, that might appeal to her. If she likes the movie. You don't remember her birthday or how old she is. Right, okay. <laughs> but you remember she's your sister, right? Okay. Cool. promise you're a good old brother. I believe you. Since she lives in the room next to me. <laughs> Bless her. Right. Okay. So that's why I'm going to leave it for today. So I, I have no idea what we've got done today. <laughs> Apart from maybe this bit here and a little bit there and um, the group portrait and the Pizzagate poster. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> right. All right. I will leave it there then, chat. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a great company as always. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day, guys. Bye.